None of us can afford a plane ticket. All right. Well, it's good Friday, folks. And if you're like me, you're looking forward to what has become a cherished tradition during the Easter holidays, the annual airing of the Ten Commandments. Everybody watch that, the oh, Ten yeah. Commandments every year? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And of course, there's another tradition we have here on the show, and that's going to our favorite bar, Havana's, and killing time with a drunken bastard game. <laughs> which I thought was oh so popular until this moment. <laughs> so, so we thought we'd combine the two traditions, the Ten Commandments, you know, and have some Havana patrons recite memorable lines from the Ten Commandments in a game we call, Let's Get Biblical, You Drunken Bastard. <laughs> Let's get biblical, biblical, dirty drunken bastard. Yes, and before you, uh, before you come down on me, and we get a ton of emails, by the way, bastard is in the Bible. Okay. <laughs> it's in the Bible right next to son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the Bible's cuss words are all alphabetical. All right. <laughs> all right. Now, Heather, let's turn on the uh, Havana's camera and see who our first contestant is. All right, let's bring this guy over here. He looks, uh, he looks happy. Yeah, put on the robe there. We gonna have time for this? We gonna get to talk to this guy? It's taking him quite a while. Right. Who are you, sir? My name's Mark. I'm sorry? My name's Mark. I can't hear you, sir. My name's Mark. Mark? Yeah. Got a boy, what do you do? Software developer. Okay. All right, good. <laughs> By the way, we didn't... We didn't supply the crucifix. Mark happened to have that on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Looks like he went by a cemetery on his way here and stole something. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready to go. Okay, okay, Mark. You're uh, doing the scene where Yul Brenner asks Edward G. Robinson who the deliverer of the slaves is, and Robinson is trying to get more money out of him. You be Edward G. Robinson, and I'll be Yul Brenner. I'll cue you. You ready? Sounds fair enough, yeah. All right. Do you haggle with me like a seller of melons in the marketplace? No, I will not haggle, great prince. Here is your money. But for 10 talons of gold, I will give you the wealth of Egypt. Give me my freedom, and I'll give you the scepter. Give me the water girl, Lilia, and I'll give you the princess of your heart's desire. Give me this house of Baca, and I'll give you the throne. Give me all that I ask, or give me leave to go. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> so, this might be a good time to point out that none of our contestants had time to rehearse. <laughs> All right, Mark. Hang tight. We'll go with our next contestant. Hi, sir. What's your name? Todd. Todd? Yes. All right, Todd. Why don't you, uh, why don't you start putting on that robe okay, then. and see if Mark will loan you his crucifix. <laughs> Go ahead, Todd. What do you do, Todd? I'm a banker. Hey, that a boy. <laughs> You're about to get struck by lightning. <laughs> what bank do you work Is that for? Right. Uh, TD. TD. They're a good bank, aren't they? Well, I think so. Good. I'm glad you think so. And the... <laughs> That's really all that counts, what the bank employees think. Our, our opinion, of course, as we all know, means nothing. Uh, you, you tell me. Well, I'll tell you, I think a buck fifty for getting my own money is a little ridiculous. <laughs> Here, where's my crucifix? I don't know where the crucifix is. I told you it was the property of Mark. I guess he took it with him. I'll, I'll pass that uh, comment along. All right, good. Thank you very much. I'm sure he was. Boy, he, you can tell he works for the bank. Oh, that's exactly the way they say it. I'll pass that <laughs> comment along. <laughs> Just as soon as I call security and get you removed, complainer. <laughs> All right, okay, Todd, you're uh, gonna do the scene where Ramses has exposed Moses as a Hebrew to Seti. Seti, who loves Moses, asks him if he's the deliverer. You'll be Moses, I'll be Seti, asking you if you're the deliverer. Are you ready? Sounds great. Say, Moses, just out of curiosity, are you the deliverer? I am not the, the, the deliverer you fear. <laughs> It would take more than a man to lead slaves out of bondage. It would take a god. But if I could free them, I would. Yeah. I can see that numbers are more your forte, huh, Todd? <laughs> <All right. laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you very much, Todd. Yeah, yeah. And uh, let's go with our next contestant. And let's dispense with the robe because uh, this is going to take a little too long. We don't have a lot of time. Why don't you come up there, dear? What's your name? Uh, Aaron. Aaron? Yes. What do you What do you do, Aaron? Um, I'm a security guard. Yeah. Okay. You can tell her one of our employees doesn't have a big vocabulary. They don't know what the phrase "dispense with the robe" means. <laughs> they think that means hand the robe to the contestant. <laughs> Right there. What did you say you did? I'm sorry. I'm a security guard. Security guard. That's yeah. fantastic. Good for you. Where do you do that? Um, on Bay Street. On which? Bay Street. Bay Street. Yeah, good. I've been to Bay Street. Nothing missing. Good for you. You're good. <laughs> you're, you're doing a heck of a job. Thank All you. right. Are you ready? Yes. In this scene, you play Princess Nefertiri, who is talking with Moses after he comes back to Egypt. You're hoping to rekindle things with him, but he tells you he's got a new girlfriend, a shepherd girl. I'll be Moses and cue you. Are you ready? Sure. Gee, Nefertiri, I think you're a hot chicken and all, but I'm seeing a shepherd girl right now. A shepherd girl? What can she be to you unless she does... In, unless the desert sun has dulled your senses? Tell me, does she grate garlic on her skin or is it soft like mine? Are her lips dry as desert sand or are they moist and red? Like pomegranates. Is it the fragrance or myrrh that scents her hair? Or is it the odor of sheep? Okay. Yeah. Okay. That was good, but the bank guy is still a contender. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, yeah, there's the bank guy. Huh? Everybody loves the bank guy. Look at this guy's smile. Look at him. Let's get another shot in. He's a, he's a happy-looking little fella, isn't he? Huh? I can't believe this guy's looking after your money. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go with uh, another one. Let's see who's there. Who's there? Yeah. All right. All right. Right from the, this is the real deal, right from the pages of the Bible. Yeah. Man, look how shiny those eyes are. This guy's in a cult. Wow, that's scary. What's your name, sir? Mark. Mark? Oh, you're in the same cult as the first guy. Yeah. All right, Mark, what do you do? I'm a case manager for Family and Community Services in New Brunswick. Wonderful. Good for you. Well, why don't you get over there and we'll see how you do. All right, you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Well, this, this isn't really a kung fu scene. You, <laughs> you can put the nunchuck down, OK? All right. There were no nunchucks in the Bible. All right, you ready? Yeah. OK, Mark. You get to play Moses in the big part. You know the Red Sea scene? Yeah, this is Every... my staff. Oh, OK. <laughs> well, this is my staff. <laughs> I, I love my staff as well, and they're just as wooden. OK. <laughs> all right. You play Moses in the big part, the Red Sea scene. Everybody's panicking, but through it all, you take command. I'll cue you by being the panicky mob. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, no, it's Pharaoh. He's going to kill us. Run for your lives. Ten times have you seen the miracles of the Lord, and still you have no faith. The Lord of hosts will do battle for us. Behold his mighty hand. something. Those are the best special effects I've ever seen in a Canadian production. That guy's gold. Trust me, I love him. Oh, everybody else should just go home, I think, all right? <laughs> everybody else should just go home. Let's uh, take a look at all of them, see who the winner is. All right, we'll applaud for our favorite person. First, we'll go with Mark. <laughs> Banker guy. Security girl. And Mark. There you go. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations, Mark. Uh, what does he want? What does Mark want? Ben. Ben. Congratulations, Mark. You're going to heaven. Oh, woo -hoo. boy. Way to go, Mark. Our thanks to everybody for playing. Let's get biblical, you drunken bastard. You were fantastic. We'll be right back with Laura Joy after this message from one of our brand new sponsors. <laughs>